In this video, we will help you set up your account security. By setting up your account security, it will help to protect you from evolving cyber threats. Let's get started. We'll begin by setting up multi-factor authentication for your account. This method of authentication requires the use of more than one verification method and adds a second layer of security to user sign-ins and transactions. Students, faculty, staff, and guests will use multi-factor authentication to access university resources like Office 365, Administrative Banner, and the VPN. From a web browser, navigate to the Microsoft Security Information page. Here you will sign in with your Office 365 login. This is your BearPass login followed by the Missouri State domain you were assigned after creating your account. Enter your regular BearPass password and click Sign In. This will bring you to the notification window that informs you that you will need more information in order to keep your account secure. Click Next to get started setting up your account security. Here you will be prompted to start setting up your Microsoft Authenticator application for your mobile device. If you're not quite ready to do that just yet, you can also choose I want to set up a different method. To get started using the Microsoft Authenticator app with your mobile device, you will want to go to your device's store so you can download the application. If you are setting your security settings up from your mobile device, you can choose to download now. Once you have the application installed on your mobile device, click Next. This next page will prompt you to open your Microsoft Authenticator app on your mobile device. If prompted, allow for notifications. Click Next to begin setting up your account. Within the Microsoft Authenticator app on your mobile device, you will want to select Add Account. Then, choose Work or School Account. The QR scanner will open on your mobile device. You will want to use it to capture the QR code that appears here on the Keep Your Account Secure page. Then click Next to try it out. Now that the application has been configured, the site will ask you to test it to verify the app is connected to your account. A push notification has been sent to the Microsoft Authenticator app on your mobile device. You will need to approve the sign-in request to continue. This screen indicates that the Microsoft Authenticator app is configured and verified. Select Next to add a second authentication option using your phone. Email is not an authentication option for multi-factor authentication, but it can be used for setting up self-service password reset. To set up the phone option, enter a phone number where you can be reliably contacted. A cell phone number is recommended, but you can use an office phone number if desired. However, if you use an office phone number, you will need to be in your office to be able to use this phone verification option. There are two ways that you can be contacted using the phone. The first option is to text me a code. This will send a six-digit code using your text messaging service on your cell phone to verify your phone number. The second option is to call me. This will send you an automated call to verify your phone number. You'll be prompted to select the pound key to complete the verification. For this demonstration, I will select Call Me and then click Next. After your phone number has been verified, you will have successfully completed the multi-factor authentication setup process. Once multi-factor authentication has been set up, you are ready to log into your Office 365 or Admin Banner account. From the Missouri State homepage, you will click Log In and select Office 365 and Email. Sign in with your Office 365 login. Then click Next to be directed to the organization's login page. Enter the password for your account and click Sign In. You will then be redirected to a screen requesting that you approve the sign in. I am being prompted to open my Microsoft Authenticator app and approve the sign-in request. If you do not have access to the Microsoft Authenticator app at this time, you can choose a different method of authentication to allow you to sign in. For this demonstration, I'm going to use my Microsoft Authenticator app to assist me with signing in. Once I've approved the sign-in on my mobile device, then I'm asked if I would like to stay signed in on my computer. If I'm on a public computer, I'm going to choose no, but since I'm on my computer, I'll go ahead and select yes. This completes the authentication process when signing in.
Now that we've finished setting up multi-factor authentication on your Office 365 account, let's access the self-service recovery options. From a web browser, navigate to the Microsoft Security Information page. You will need to sign in to your Office 365 account. Once you have finished signing in, you'll be sent to the Security Information page. From the Microsoft Security Information page, you will see a list of the methods that you have set up to sign into your account, or they can be used to reset your password using the Self-Service Password Reset feature. Now that Self-Service Password Reset has been set up on your account, this will allow you to reset your own password and unlock your account without needing to contact the Computer Services Help Desk. Let's add an email address as one of your security methods. To do this, we will want to click the Add Method button. Then we will want to choose a method. From the drop-down menu, we're going to select Email, and then click Add. We'll enter in a personal email account. We recommend using a Gmail account, but you could also use a Hotmail, AOL, or another personal email account that you might have. Then click Next. You will now need to retrieve the six digit code that was sent to the email address that you provided. Type the code in here, then click Next. Your email address has now been added to your list of sign in methods. Let's take a look at how we can use self service password reset. From a web browser, go to missouristate.edu slash password reset. Type in your Office 365 account, then type in the special characters that are being displayed. If you're unable to read them, you have an audio version, or you can refresh the characters. Then click Next. Here you will be prompted to choose one of these two choices. I forgot my password, or I know my password and I still can't get signed in. Select the one that best fits your needs and click Next. The next step is to choose the verification option of your choice. I'm going to choose Approve a Notification in my Authenticator app. Then I'll click Send a Notification. This will send a notification to my Microsoft Authenticator app on my mobile device. You are now ready to enter in your new password and confirm your new password. Once you have completed that, click Finish to complete the process. This concludes our video. For additional support, please review our articles in our online knowledge base at missouristate.edu slash helpdesk. Thank you for watching.